what happened to me, but I recorded three videos. Yes, three. And forgot to put the intro in all three. Yes, three. This makeup look is not what you're going to see in just a moment when I do the all day wear test on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the Conceal Contour Highlight Retouch. All right, so what's my thoughts on these? So let's talk about the Too Faced. So Too Faced has been out forever and ever, Born This Way. It's an undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. It says it's oil free. My color is in warm nude and it comes in one standard fluid ounce, which is normal, normal, normal. The packaging is very pretty. However, this was a letdown. And as you can see, I have my handy dandy fun little favorite hoodie because it's cold outside. And guess what? This foundation didn't improve. You're going to see kind of an all day wear test as far as where the oils go, etc. and how this played out on my face. So this may be better for dry skin because, or maybe just my skin is too oily for this, even in winter. And that was, that was kind of, that was tough. That was tough. As far as the Born This Way multi-use concealer, it's a sculpting concealer. It conceals, contours, highlights, and retouch. I would say this is much better by far than the foundation. I would repurchase this. If out of the two, I would repurchase this one. Although I wouldn't say that I'm over the moon for this. Like I, I would have preferred at maybe the same price point. I prefer the Tarte Shape Tape over this one. So if you have your choice between Born This Way, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and Tarte Shape Tape, I'd go ahead and purchase the Tarte Shape Tape. But I do want you to watch the video to the end because maybe you will see that this is still a foundation for you, even though it's not for me. All right, with that said, we are going to roll into the foundation. You're going to see how it covers my red and splotchiness, so that's always good to know. Um, you're going to be able to see what I used as far as a primer and a setting spray, which if you've watched any of my other foundation videos, for the most part, that shouldn't be a surprise because I typically don't deviate, but I will soon. And you're going to see what it looks like at the end of the day and how many hours I did wear this throughout the day. So you're going to learn a lot to see if this is really a foundation that is meant for you. So I'm really curious to see if y'all have had this foundation and what was your thoughts on it and what was your skin type. Very, very curious about that. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, here Starting we go. Starting out with the makeup primer sc spray. Scray from Scandinavia. I don't know what took so long, but we are going to try the Born This Way foundations and concealers. So this has been around, I think it feels like forever. However, I haven't participated and now I'm going to. All right, so I put two pumps on the bottom of this Makeup Geek sponge. And as you can see, the coverage is really good because I've got a lot of redness in my skin. So that went on the skin really easy and nice. It looks like it's kind of sitting on top of the skin, not in the skin. Maybe once it dries a little bit because it's still tacky, it'll maybe look better. In the interim, I'm going to use some concealed contour, highlight, and retouch. Okay, so we have the concealer on and that went on, I think, better than actually the foundation did from looking in this, my tiny mirror. Still feels a little tacky. I'm going to go ahead and powder and do the rest of my face and then we're going to see how this baby holds up all day. I've got high hopes for this one. I've got high hopes. We'll see if Too Faced lets me down. Or are they brilliant? Hello, it's Amy. I'm back. It's been 12 hours. Just kind of want to see where it's, uh, where the foundation is at. Not real impressed overall. I think the foundation just kind of floated on my skin and never really kind of set down. And I've really used some drugstore items recently and the drugstore items have done much better than this one's. Kind of a little depressing, but let's check it out. 
You're going to see a lot of oil, which seems to be a little crazy to me because it was cold today. Like, I have my little hoodie on because it's so cold. My nose, like you can see, it's kind of mottled, kind of missing. Almost, like I said, it, it's just sitting on the skin. And it's just a mess, really, overall on the nose. Very greasy. Kind of that greasy look. So I can't imagine what this would do during summer if it's so cold right now. My chin's, you know, my chin's my chin. It's nice and red. But even up underneath here, it looks like it. the makeup is sitting. Kind of a greasy hot mess and it was cold. For combo to oily, I don't think I could recommend this foundation. Again, it just, I know it's been 12 hours, but in all honesty, I noticed that it you know, never really sat on the face good. I think when I started this video this morning, I mentioned how the foundation seemed to be sitting on the skin. And yeah, it, it definitely has been floating and has rubbed off and kind of separated a lot. I think this foundation could be good for someone that is maybe dry skin. But I don't think I could recommend it for someone that has oily skin. Just... I'm just not feeling it. Just not feeling it. Kind of depressing considering how expensive this foundation is, but it is what it is, right? All right, so I want to thank you for being here today and watching this video. You've had a chance to hear some of my thoughts on this foundation. Do you use this foundation? What is your skin type? Have you used this foundation before and does it perform for you? I just can't seem to get this foundation to perform well on me. I was really hoping since the last time I used this foundation was when it was really hot. I was super, super hoping like this, maybe even like this, that the foundation was going to work. And it, it just, yeah. Dang, Two-Faced. We need you to get back up on your game. Get on your game. All right, y'all, I want to thank you so much again for watching this video. If you have any thoughts, questions, please put those below, and I hope you have a great day. Until next time.